This doesn't bode too well for the photo day trip I was about to take. So today I'm just going on a quick drive to do some photography. It's not really like a trip with a destination. I'm just, I kind of want to go to a beautiful area and take pictures of things that aren't grand vistas, just kind of the small beauty in the area. But I want to look more at the uh, stuff around me. Find the beauty in things that aren't named. Instead of a big giant rock spire or something, maybe it's just a rock. And I think when you stop and do that, and just stop and look around and really absorb what's around you and look at how beautiful everything is rather than just the one place you are going to because somebody told you you have to do this hike, you start to really feel the connection to the land. So I apologize if this ends up being a little more vloggy than uh, showing a destination or somewhere to go. a little stormy out towards Capitol Reef. We're gonna do a little detour and see what it looks like. When you drive through Loa, there's a, if you're coming down from the north, there's a little turn where you go to, basically the whole road, Main Street turns to go to Capitol Reef. And I always thought, what happens if you go straight? Well. This is what happens if you go straight. Very interesting rock outcropping area. Probably well known by all the uh, local four wheelers. There's a little bit of graffiti on some of the rocks, but kind of a cool area. Just interesting. Look around, maybe take a picture. Well, this helps explain it. Open OHV area, open ride. Let's see, pretty little scenes everywhere. a little bit of tagging from the locals. People might say, oh, it's probably not the locals. I'm like, I don't think many other people know about this. I think it's one of those things where the local high school graduating class will come and leave their mark. Class of 89 up there. People don't drive across country just to paint 89 on a rock. You ever notice the detail in lichen? It's hard to think that it's actually alive. But I mean, it is, and it's just covering all the rocks to the point where it's a little, a little flaky, a little thick in places. And back on the road. That was a fun little side trip. Um, fantastic if you ride ATVs or off-road vehicles. Just like a little playground, fun for kids to climb around. Obviously, if they're letting ATVs drive on it, walk wherever you want. You're gonna do less impact with your feet. Yeah, it's interesting. Nice little side detour from the usual highway. But, let's see, uh, let's see what Capitol Reef's like right now. Looks like the storm that was over there is blowing past.
cool canvas for him to uh, do everything on. This guy covered with a bunch of wash. I don't know what that circle with the legs are. If you can look below it though, the red here, the little U shapes, are necklaces around, I think it's uh, triangular figurines. Not much of them left from the uh, graffitiing, unfortunately. I wonder if there was another guy under the wash that came down. Fortunately, there's uh, quite a bit of graffiti. 2007, 2017. Some of them like above here, this guy. That's uh, 1880, a little bit more cursive of a name if you can see it. The carvings are so, they don't stand out. They're the same color, so you can only look at the texture, which probably doesn't show up too well on video, but I can see the concentric circles right here. This road is bumpy and muddy. Hopefully in the summer it would be nicer. I think cars could probably pass it in the summer, so anybody could come out to those petroglyphs. Right now though, I would recommend four-wheel drive. There's just a few ruts that are kind of deep. Those are the ones that cars would have to work, look out for. It's a shame this little area is mostly private and off-limits. These are some Gorgeous rocky outcroppings, just really cool back here. Pretty too. I think I want to play around with the digital camera a little bit as well. Sixteen. Oh, Fifteen. change of plan. I was thinking of taking pictures on the other side of Capitol Reef, but it looks like there's rain coming down over there. We got another potential. Wish there was less clouds behind it, but I love the texture of that rock. Let's see what it'll look like. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which way that cloud's going. It's just a little too high for this lens. I don't want to swap back out. I want to keep the, a little bit of the grass here and it'll go up to about there and it's just too, too white. I really wish that cloud would be moving faster and moving that way. I had to rush out a video or a picture real quick. 
Um, I'm losing sun. If you look, the sun's behind there. I am officially in the shadow, so I, the shadow's about to hit that grass that I wanted. Still haven't moved that cloud, but I haven't got time to wait. But I got a picture, I think that'll work. I'm gonna try a wider one, see if the grass will still be there by the time the lens is swapped. That's tricky. All that uh, golden grass is all black now. Made it really hard to uh, get another picture. I don't know. I was less happy with that one. I just uh, screwed up a black and white sheet of picture, my last one. Luckily I got these, these are my backups. Got hooked up by a guy in uh, Salt Lake. So I've got a lot of these uh, to take care of me, just in case. I like keeping them on hand for just this sort of occasion. They don't take up a lot of space. I'm gonna take a picture of that wall of Tifoni right there. And uh, should look good in black and white. that. Then a gentle, gentle, gentle. Yeah, that looks good. Put it on the bottom like that. Wrap it around so it doesn't actually doesn't accidentally come out. And go. Deer absolutely love this campground. They're always here. Tempting to stop and take pictures, but believe me, you'll see them so much. You just wander through. Ooh, the orchard is just starting to pop off. Probably be at its peak in days. A lot of them are still buds. Cool thing about this orchard is that it's right next to the campgrounds. So if you're camping here, you can just walk in anytime. I mean, the, the flowers with the red rock and the blue sky is just magnificent. Sun's heading down. We are officially in golden hour now. And um, not gonna be able to make it back up to sunset point, I don't think. Have to rush, plus you have to hike out to the end. Ankle's not doing so good recently, so hiking's not the best thing. But I'm right next to the scenic drive. Shadows are moving fast. Sun's hitting that ridge, even though it's uh, not quite sundown yet. Let's see what we can get here. Kind of a well-known overlook of the entrance to the scenic drive. Well, wish there were more clouds, but the uh, shadows are cool. I'm gonna have to try one in the other direction too. Better clouds there. Are dropping, ears are getting cold. The sun's gonna be down soon. Gotta find the last few pictures of the day. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, the shade on that is just a little too much. It might work. I don't know. Let's give it a go. so fast. The sun's gone down so that shadow is just eating up everything. All the 
light that was everywhere disappeared so fast. The rock that makes up Capitol Reef was laid down from old seabeds, so you can always see the little ripples and everything. And it makes these big, flat slabs. The way they break away is just fantastic. I'm not sure if that's Jurassic, but that is dinosaur ripples, basically. Sun's gone down. A little bit of light left, but this is the end of the day. Remember when you come to the national parks, enjoy some of the big stuff, but try to find the little secret things, the little places out of the way that maybe other people don't see. It's definitely worth it. The whole place is beautiful. It doesn't have to be some amazing overlook that was on the top 10 list. It's all really nice. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you later, hopefully. Bye.